Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we'll make the uh, snowbird hat. Uh, and this is my own design. And I would say this is an intermediate skill level crochet project. So we start with the ripped brim and then the hat pattern. And then we attach the faux fur pom pom. And my hat measures, it's about nine inches wide and almost eight inches in height. And so it fits the average uh, women's head. And this Lion Brand yarn is really great for the hat. It has a cute name, feels like butter, and um, it's super soft. It almost feels like velvet, um, and I guess it's mostly meant for baby items, uh, but it's great for this hat as well. It is 100% uh, polyester, as the label says. One ball is enough for the hat, two for the scarf, and five for the blanket. So it is 100 grams, 199 meters in one ball and four weight category, four medium size. And this color is lilac. And my faux fur pom pom. This is how my hat got its name. Uh, this pom pom is called Snowbird. So it's a medium size pom pom. And the crochet hook is 4.5 millimeters. And let's get started. And we start with the ripped prim of the hat. And it is made with uh, back loop slip stitches only. Working back and forth horizontally. And so we make a slip knot and chain 11 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then slip stitch in a second chain from the hook 1 2 3 4 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And so this is first row, chain one and turn. And now, starting with the second row, we always insert the hook in this back loop. So not this. So I kind of turn my work to see that back loop and make all slip stitches in it. And slip stitch is kind of a tight stitch. So I have to make sure I don't do it too tightly. And so just do it uh, 10 times again. That took me a second to find the last loop of the row. So that's second row, then chain, turn, and just keep repeating the same slip stitches in back loops. 10 stitches in each row. And because slip stitch is uh, such a thin stitch, uh, we'll need to make quite a few rows. So. Let's make 120 rows of this. 
and then we can join and continue with the pattern. And I finished uh, 120 rows and it measures uh, about 18 and a half inches. And uh, next I want to show you how to place it to get the most seamless joining of the edge. So here's my beginning. Here's my working loop. I don't I didn't cut off. And I want to make sure that these loops are facing upwards. So because this is going to be the right side and I'm now going to fold it so it's inside out. Working loop is here. And so lifting it up. The first stitch is kind of tricky because the loop is here on the, this side. But this is the way to do it. Um, so putting a loop on the hook, the first space I'm inserting hook through is here. So this is where I started. And here is the space and also insert a hook through the back loop of this last row. And now pull the yarn through the loops, also the loop on hook, the working loop. And that's uh, how we continue now. So again, Find that next space here on this side and also next stitch, next loop on this side. Yarn over, pull through all loops, three loops. Again, here's my next space on this side. Next loop on this side, pull through. So this is the wrong side. Let's check the right side. See, it's going to look very nice. No seam is visible here. And so continue. And the last stitch, last loop. Okay, so this is done. Now I'm going to turn it this way, the right side facing. And this is good. These loops are all facing upwards. That's the knitted look of it, which I like. Here's my working loop, again, not cutting off. And now we're going to work around this edge until we finish the hats. First thing, chain one and our first row. We need to make 76 single crochets. The first stitch will go into this one here make a single crochet one next we'll go to the next one here insert hook between those vertical loops so two and next we'll go to the next same stitch three and now after three of these 
notice we skipped these spaces but now the fourth stitch we insert hook here between space make single crochet here and the next one will go again in this stitch and I'm actually going to switch to a finer hook I have this uh, 3.5 here you can do the same you don't have to but um, as you see these stitches are quite tight here it's just easier so make the next stitch right here and now make three again one two three skip this part go into this one one two and three after three again insert hook in between space and then again into that stitch now again make three in these stitches one two three and then in here Again, three, one, two, three, and in here. So when you look at it, you count the stitches into these rows, one, two, three, four, and that's when I did this between stitch, the increase. That's the one here, one, two, three, four. And do this all around, uh, and then I will show you where the last stitch goes. And here, I did my last increase here between stitch and the last stitch, and I have a total of 75, and I need one more, so I'm going to insert hook here. This is the, the joining space here. And so this is my 76 and now slip stitch in that first and now I'm going to change back to my 4.5 millimeter hook and second row is easy I need to just double crochet in each stitch start with three chains that counts as the first double crochet and then just do a double crochet all around and to check, you again have 76 double crochets on this round. And on the third row, we're going to make these uh, triangles. And so these are two front post uh, triple crochet stitches together. So let's see. First of all, uh, I finished the second round with a slip stitch in that third beginning chain. And starting round three, chain one, and single crochet in that same space. And now single crochet in the next stitch right here. So two. And we're going to make the first uh, triangle, first uh, yarn over twice. And now find that single crochet below on the first round, below that beginning chain. So it's here, this one. And I need to go first to the right and insert hook from front to back. And then come around back up on the left side of the stitch yarn over pull it through you got four loops on hook yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops and now keep the last two loops on hook again yarn over twice and now we need to skip three single crochets on the first round with this one this one and this one now insert hook on the right side of the next stitch 
front to back come back up here on the left side yarn over pull through yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through next two loops and now i have three loops left yarn over pull through all of them this is my first triangle and next and then i always turn my work to see uh, behind the triangle here i need to skip that next single crochet and go into the next place the yarn this way go into that next make single crochet here and then two more so three total between each triangle and again so yarn over twice and now we're going to go into that same stitch where we did the last triple post triple crochet so go into that same same one front to back to front again do that same thing pull yarn through the space then through first two loops and then through next two loops keep last two loops on hook and then again yarn over twice and we skip now three single crochets on first round so this one this one and this one go into the next insert hook on right side front to back come back up here left side yarn over pull through the space and then do the triple crochet first two loops next two loops and again two triple crochets together pull through three loops on hook and turn skip this one insert hook into the next single crochet here in the next and in the next as well so three again and this is how it repeats now let's do a few more yarn over twice here's the same stitch i'm making my first part of the triangle keep last two loops on hook yarn over twice skip one two three go around the next one triple and three last loops on hook pull through all of them next triangle reach back here skip this and insert here one two three let's do one more And finishing round three I have one more triangle here to do so three single crochets make the first part insert hook in the last space and yarn over twice insert now hook in that first one where you started Again, three 
loops pull through all of them and now when you see so we're skipping this one and here's my very last stitch i'm going to make the single crochet here and i already started the round with two so i have three here like everywhere else and slip stitch in that beginning single crochet and now round four is the simple one double crochets chain three double crochet in the next now double crochet in that triangle stitch and in each single crochet and again in a triangle stitch and all around you can always check to have 76 stitches and now round five we're going to make the opposite triangles to form the diamonds here and chain one and the very first stitch is going to be the front post triple crochet and i'm going to insert my hook here through these loops so that was my very first front post triple crochet on uh, uh, third round and so the first one on this round is just going to be the regular front post triple finish it and as before now i need to skip one so this one single crochet in the next and again need three here so also two next now yarn over twice and now i'm going to go and insert my hook through the post of this triple front post triple so insert hook here come back up here and start the triangle leave the last two loops yarn over twice and next one again i'm going to insert my hook here through these two loops they're quite easy to see and then to the triple crochet and now three loops on hook so first diamond here is made again skip one stitch back here go in the next three single crochets and let's do next one so going to insert hook first in this space it's here in this middle then come back up here start the first front post triple leave two loops and hook now go into the next one again these two loops in front here and finish those two together that's the second diamond skip next stitch here three single crochets and again I'll repeat this all around and again we'll finish the round together and 
here this is my last diamond and now I need to finish the round and finish that first one so again skipping one stitch here making three single crochets these are the last three stitches on the round and now I need to make front post double crochet in here the front post triple sorry and again when I have two loops on hook now I'm going to insert my hook into that first one that I started with just insert it here pull yarn through all loops it's like a slip stitch ending this this is the most seamless and now round six is the easy one with double crochets chain three and double crochet in each single crochet stitch and also in that triangle and now round seven uh, basically repeats the round three so let's see we start with chain single crochet in same space single crochet in the next stitch and now do the front post triple crochet inserting hook around this one here and don't finish we're going to make the next one so two together again and inserting hook through these loops of the next on round five and pull through three loops and again look behind here skip this single crochet in the next and also in the next two next so three single crochets and repeat on over twice the first one goes around this space here so that is going to be the same technique we did on round five uh, when I talk about the stitch placement doing these two triple crochets together the second one goes around through these loops and three loops and skip single crochet one two three so now repeat this again next one goes in here and to finish round seven I did my last two front post triple crochets together and I need to now skip this one and make one more single crochet here in the last stitch so that I have three I started with two and slip stitch in the first single crochet and round eight is the same easy one chain three and double crochet in each stitch and round nine is going to repeat exactly round five so we uh, this one we started with one chain and uh, front post triple crochet inserting hook in here and make the whole stitch for the first time and and then the same skip this single crochet one two three and front post triple crochet in here 
first part and the second part in here and go around the same way skip next stitch single crochet three and finishing round nine did uh, three single crochets and now I'll make the last front post triple crochet in here and when I have two loops on hook I'm going to insert hook through that first stitch and do the slip stitch through all loops on hook and round 10 start with three chains we're going to decrease on this round uh, double crochet in the next stitch so two here next double crochet two together start the first one start the second one in the next stitch and pull through three loops on hook two double crochets together then make one double crochet in the next stitch one in the next and then again two together in the next two one double crochet in the next one in the next and two together and repeat this all around uh, i did my last uh, two double crochets together and we have a total of 57 stitches on round 10 and slip stitch in beginning third chain to finish and round 11 chain one and single crochet in the same space also single crochet in the next stitch so two it's just like we did before now first uh, front post triple crochet goes around this post and don't finish this one do the second part around these loops here and pull through three loops on hook and now look back here skip this next one stitch and single crochet in next two so one two so instead of three we now have two and then the rest is the same to the next two front post triple crochets together it's a long name for a stitch here again skip this single crochet two one in each next and repeat and I finished my last triangle on round 11 and looking back here I um, need to skip this one that's the last stitch and just uh, slip stitch in that first single crochet and round 12 is just a double crochet in each stitch uh, no decreasing and total of 57 here round 13 repeats round five except we have uh, two single crochets between the uh, front post triple crochets not three so start with chain and make the first front post triple around the post around the loops here and this one we finish next skip this single crochet two two and then continue with the pattern
and finishing round 13. So here I need to skip this next single crochet, make single crochet in the next. And now I'm going to also single crochet in that beginning space where we started this front post triple crochet with a chain. So because I do need two single crochets here. So the last stitch of round 13 will go to the first stitch of round 12. And to finish that last triangle, insert a hook here. And don't finish when you have two loops on hook insert hook in that beginning one and pull through all loops on hook and from here we start round 14 chain one and now double crochet in each stitch and again we have 57 stitches on round 14 and round 15 chain one make two single crochets then two front post triple crochets together then skip next stitch and make two single crochets and repeat this all around and to finish round 15 last two front post triple crochets together here and slip stitch in a first single crochet and round 16 chain three and we'll decrease in every second and third stitch so this is first double crochet, second and third are two together. Next is one double crochet and, ne and then decrease in next two, two together. One in the next and two together. And you'll have a total of 38 stitches here. And round 17, chain one, and make the first front post triple crochet here. And finish the stitch. Then skip next stitch here and single crochet in the next. And here it's going to be only one single crochet between the triple crochets. So next make the two front post triple crochets together. Skip one single crochet in the next and again. skip one single crochet and repeat and finish round 17 here's my single crochet and finishing that last triangle same as before slip stitch in the first pull through all loops and round 18 chain 3 and double crochet in each stitch total 38 round 19 uh, one more time we're doing the 
two front post triple crochets together chain one and single crochet in that beginning space and make the first part of the first triangle and the second in here again skip next stitch and single crochet in next and then complete the round the way we did before finish round 19 with slip stitch in that first single crochet and round 20 we decrease start with two chains and double crochet in the next that's the first two double crochets together then in next two stitches two double crochets together and same in the next two and same and all around and the last round of the hat 21 i'm using this different type of stitch that i haven't used before but it it fits well to finish this hat it's not difficult uh, it is single crochet and uh, front post double crochet together so first chain one and insert hook in that next stitch pull up a loop that's the single crochet stitch but don't finish leave the loop, uh, two loops on hook yarn over and now go and insert a hook around that triangle so that was on round 19 and insert a hook around here pull yarn through then pull yarn through first two loops and now we have three loops pull through three loops so this is how I made single crochet stitch and also front post double crochet stitch together. I don't want to do them separately because I don't want to increase stitches anymore on that last round. Again, insert hook in next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then insert hook around that triangle here, pull up a loop pull through first two loops pull through three loops again pull up a loop next stitch yarn over insert through the triangle next one here pull up a loop first two loops and three loops and so continue And finish the round with a slip stitch in that first stitch here and now I'm going to cut off and uh, leave a little bit longer tail and fasten off and so now I'm going to use that tail to pull the top of the hat tight so I'm going to stitch here around back 
in and out, in and out. And once I'm done with uh, stitches, stitching all around, I'm going to turn my hat inside out. And now it's up to you. You can go around and, and do one more round of stitches here before inserting the pom-pom. And then I'm going to take my pom-pom and pull the, pull the elastic band here through. And so how I do this now, first I'm going to hold the pom-pom with my finger and then pull it with that stitching tail as tight as possible. And then I like to go and make a few more stitches here around it. And so when I think it's tight enough, I'm also going to pull it. Then I will make a knot here. And actually you could also try and make um, a double knot. Make sure that pom-pom is not gonna fly off the hat. And here is my finished hat. I hope you have fun making your own. Let me know if you have any questions. The written pattern is on my blog. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting!